My name is Chris, and I like to make things. Today's project, foam tricorn hat. Let's do it. Print the pattern pieces for your size of hat. Some of them will need to be taped together. I like to do this on a window so I can see the alignment mark of the page underneath. Make sure you place your tape inside the pattern, otherwise, when you go to cut it out, it's all going to just fall apart. Now get away from all that natural light and go downstairs into your dark basement workshop. Grab your scissors and start cutting out your pattern, cutting just to the outside of the black line. Once everything is cut out, grab a big sheet of craft foam and start tracing your patterns onto the foam. Start with piece number 5. Trace it once right side up, and then flip it over, lining up the center marks, and then trace it again. When you go to cut, don't cut along that center line because this is now one full piece. Pick up the same piece number 5 again and cut along the dotted fold line. Replace the pattern piece back to where it was and draw the fold line onto the foam. Now trace piece number 4 doing the same thing with the fold line. Trace 2 of piece 1, 1 of piece 3, and 4 of piece 2, flipping 2 of them over and labeling those 2A. Make sure to mark all the alignment points and don't forget to extend them to the inside of the pattern so they won't disappear when you cut the pattern out. Now grab a cutting surface and twirl it on your finger. If you're into twirling things on your finger, get out your sharp knife and start cutting out your pattern. Once your pieces are cut out, plug in your glue gun and do some fancy moves with your silicone baking sheet while you wait for it to heat up. And then it's time to start gluing. Glue pieces 2 and 2A together, aligning mark C along the way. If you haven't seen how I use hot glue on these before, I like to glue a short section at a time, holding it down on my silicone baking sheet until it cools, and then glue another short section. If you end up with large, ugly clumps of glue, you can smooth them out with your glue gun tip. Glue the V cutouts on the two piece number 1s. Take piece 1 and glue it to piece 2, lining up points B as well as the center line. Next line up and glue together point A, and then you can glue the section in between. Take your second piece number one and glue it to your first piece number one along that short little edge, and then glue it in the same way to piece 2A. Now do exactly the same thing for the other side. It is slightly more annoying because there's more stuff in the way, but you can do it. I'm going to flip mine inside out here so you can see the numbers and markings a little bit better. However, I, if I were you, I would just keep it the other way because then the numbers are inside and when you paint over it, you're not painting over the numbers. Here's a little trick I learned if you want to transfer that map drawing onto the foam. Print it off on an inkjet printer, wet down your foam with a sponge, flip the printout upside down on the foam, and then wet it some more from the back. As long as the ink is still quite fresh, it will transfer over onto the foam, and when you lift it up, you'll be able to see your pattern very faintly. In order to make these lines look like they are engraved, I'm going to go over and over them with a ballpoint pen until the foam looks like I want it to. Flip piece 3 over and at each alignment point make a mark about 1.5 centimeters from the edge. This is just to line up the center circle when we glue it to the oval cutout we left in the crown. Apply some glue to the front of the circle piece and place the crown on top of it in position. Next you can glue the back in place, then glue each side, and then fill in any gaps between them. Now's a good time to make sure that the cap fits on your head, and that you look like a pirate. Grab piece 4 and 5 and glue them together. Just glue the first 2 centimeters or so, though, along that edge. It's time to make the crease along the fold line now. I'll use my scalpel handle to compress the foam along that line. A nice smooth spoon handle will also work in a pinch. Once you've got a really good crease along the fold line, you can start to stretch the foam along the edge which will turn it up at a 90 degree angle. Grab your brim, and if everything went well, it should fit perfectly over the crown. Make sure you line up the front and back seams with the center seams on piece 4 and 5. Glue the two pieces together where they overlap. I like to glue the crown section so it's just slightly above the bottom fold of the brim. Again, start by gluing the front, and then the back, then the sides, and then everywhere in between. Now it's time to glue the two last seams left on the brim, and if those two last edges don't quite match up, that's fine, just trim them off with the knife. Now mark and cut a two centimeter wide strip that's the length shown on the pattern for your size of hat. If your foam isn't big enough, you can cut a few strips and glue them together. Glue approximately one third of the strip underneath the edge of the brim. When you make it back to where you started, cut off the extra foam and glue the ends together. I've got some 16 gauge wire here that I think is used for tying up plants or something, and I'm going to start it just past the center line of the back of the brim. Start gluing the strip of foam over the wire as you go around the hat. Just be sure to leave that first bit unglued, because once you get all the way around the hat, you'll want to overlap the wire in that section and then glue the strip over top. 
If you want to paint your hat, now's the time to do it before you start bending up the edges, because then it gets awfully tricky to get in those spaces. I would recommend at least three coats of good quality acrylic artist paint. Now all you gotta do is bend it how you like it, which actually is a little easier said than done. If you want to get the front edge to kind of lift up, you need to sort of pull down along that back edge like I'm doing there. And that's it, you got a pirate hat. So now you're ready to make your own tricorn hat. And you can do so many things with tricorn hats. You can paint them brown, you can paint them black, the list just goes on and on. And as always, the link to the pattern, or if you want to, um, what's that called, where you get my videos whenever I release them? Subscribe. If you want to subscribe, there's probably a button down there somewhere. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, you like a reading? Bang. 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 <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, shoot right there. Boom. <laughs>